unbiased and dependable. Initiating her journey as columnist, she transitioned into full-time journalism with the Sindhi newspaper in 2008. Her esteemed article had graced both national and international media, including The Wire India. An expert on Pakistan political landscape, human rights, minority issues, her insight into forced conversion have marked her as a recognized authority. Jihad. I will speak in English as well, then I will start. But I would prefer to speak in Sindhi. Ma, well, Sindhi Congress, इंटरनेशनल में इंटरनेशनल प्लेटफॉर्म ते वर्ल्ड सिंधी कांग्रेस जी तरफा रुबीना हिन इशू ते गलायो आए वो प्रोसेस मुझे लगा बहुत खुशी वालो हो तो जो जदे सब फोर्स कन्वर्जन ते असा गना शुरू कियो से 2012 खा इट वाज वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू रिपोर्ट टुडे वी आर टॉकिंग एवरीवन इज टॉकिंग ऑन फोर्स कन्वर्जन इट इज वेरी इजी now it has been over a decade but when we started reporting on forced conversion even in our newsroom even in our editor chief editor he called me and he asked me because why you are regularly writing on the forced conversion don't you have any other issues he says yes i have other issues but this is a burning issues in my sense, and we need to cover. And after us, Don newspaper, international, I still remember my friend, Declan Warsh. He reported in New York Times on the Rinkil Kumari uh, and Asha and Lata Kumari issue. And then Pakistani, I would say, this is Pakistani media, they don't count us, Baloch and Sindhis. Yes, when there is international media issue, I have to say that the Sindhis exist, exist. Oh, Baloch exist. Well, now I have five minutes and our journey is very long since 2012. And that's why I have to say that I have to say that I have to say that I um, because uh, you guys have watched video, I don't want to repeat. Everyone in this room can understand what is the force conversion. But this issue is very close to my heart. As a journalist, I am going to share with you the stories that we report. I, if there is any repeat, repetition, so please forgive me. If there is a just one thing, then you can see it. Okay, you can take it. So, there is a process, and in the process, we are human, we are not robots. We cover stories, we cover sorrows. Forced conversion is a sorrow to me. The sorrow of mothers, the sorrow of daughters. And it is happening not only in sin across the Pakistan. Earlier, someone criticized media. So please appreciate the Sindhi media. It is a Sindhi media. They took the forced conversion issue. Show me 
the urdu media they can say dhare karachi mein aa rahe hain this is the urdu media and they are on tv it means i am coming to my own capital i became dagu the criticizers as when the hindu girl the 11 sorat megwa from amarpur not only sorat mohan megwa in a day lina megwa she was abducted not a single tv channel they run the news even the human rights organizations in pakistan they are champions of human rights i don't want to name any organization but i have complained do they really consider us a woman do they feel that hindu girls exist in sin they only report when they got the attention on the international media we do report even they ignore us so in sin we do cover in punjab also christian girls are being abducted but in punjab the human rights organizations and including they, they are their media they don't report many christian families they contact me they say miss fingers we know you covered the post conversion so please raise voice for us from the punjab not only in punjab but in gilgit baltistan they are your conversion now tell me i often have tips of people ask me being as you have agenda there is not a forced conversion and there is a free will they fall in love this is very surprise to me that the 11 girl who cannot choose what should she wear and what should she not wear but she is going to choose her life partner and still i am like a 40 plus still i have no my partner but girl in her 11 year she can choose this is a surprise for me well this is uh, you have agenda then it's also okay whatever we speak we became nationalist we became raw agent we became israel agent we seen these have the issue but what about you are in punjab why the christian girls are being converted why the gilgit in girls they are converted do you have any answer they don't have any answer so this is the state policy let me clear let me remind you that in chicago someone called me it being us uh, this is it i think uh, शिकारपुर and then afterwards rinkul kumari was abducted asha lata kumari were abducted and then the cycle was continue and the continue and now it it is happening regularly in sin still i am talking to you i i i'm pretty sure maybe badim me prokhas any any girl from hindu community can be abducted so now if i don't call this force conversion how can you call this is a free will this is the force conversion so state is involved if state is not involved if state for instance if state is innocent if islamabad pindi they say we are very human rights we follow them what about your constitution the your constitution says the non muslim can not be a prime minister and a president there is a discrimination in your constitution since the 
2011 is a more than a decade. You cannot legislate the law. But if you want to protect your job, if you want to practice, protect your power, you can pass the law in the midnight. You can lecture neighbors, Parosi Mulk. But you cannot protect the minor girls. So it is your actions, it is your policy that make me realize, that make me think, that make me say that state is involved in the force conversion. So this is very clear. Now we are coming to, uh, we always uh, hear from the Punjabwalas, my friend, they say, we have, you have PC. You know, democracy can be enough human rights organization and can be enough democracy. But this is no longer Shahid Mother Mabena Bhutto's party. This is Mr. Zardari and the champion of human rights, Mr. Balawal Bhutto's party. They failed to legislate the law. I remember when there was a committee in 2013, they were working on legislation on the forced conversion. They called me and they asked me, because we are going to remarkable work. They say, really? What we are going to do? They say, we are going to make a law on forced conversion. And still, there is no any forced conversion bill. You uh, uh, watch the video because I don't want to go into detail. But question is this. Sin government, they legislate the law on child marriages, which is very important. Let me to show you. This is the bill on child marriages in sin. In Punjab, they don't have bill. In Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, they don't have bill. In Balochistan, they don't have bill. But in Sin, we have bill. And this is the remarkable work of Pakistan People's Party. At least you should appreciate. Huh? Yeah. Well, even Punjabis, they really appreciate it. English people is doing very great work. They have the law on child marriages, they say, yeah, but it cannot be implemented on the Hindu girls. So, the law says in the fourth line, this is the law. I am not going to against the Pakistan because I am a journalist. I have to see my own responsibilities. I am asking what is written in this bill. I am asking through your platform to Mr. Bilawal Bhutto that you cannot understand Sindhi, you cannot understand maybe you can't uh, read Sindhi. But this is in English. Please go and download on your website. And not a single person is punished. The law says, if the girl, the child, the, um, under the 18 uh, age, if he is married to the a person, the person will be punished. Have you any hard news, Rubina? Any punish? Maybe uh, I miss. Maybe you? No. no, no, no. So, I am generous. I had to confirm and verify the news. So both persons they confirm and they will verify that there is no any punish. Why? Now come to the Sohana case recently happened in uh, Benazirabad. The Sohana was missed in for three days. For three days Sohana Sharma was missed. 
everyone was asking where is Sohana and Sohana when appeared in the court, she said, I was with my friends and I was having a picnic. And just say, wow, you were having a picnic and you were with uh, our friends. So now you can go with their parents. This is the attitude of courts. The girl can say, I mean, I'm three days. Imagine what happened to her. No investigation. No one asked who abducted her. Okay, for her statement, if we can understand that she was abducted and she was with friends, for instance, we follow her statement that she was with her friends. But for three days, she was roaming around the market. And there was no any investigation. And Cindy, mostly one Hindu, uh, he shared me, Asan Sindhu ja asa lakha vairis saayu, tu samjho wa la vairis saayu. So this is happening inside the court. So this is the uh, behavior of the course just I share with you. So Pakistan People's Party, including in the court system, they all are on the same page against us. Not, I mean, this is uh, it's just against not only the Sindhi Hindu girls. It means it is on the Sindhi Muslim girls. If you are thinking that it is happening only the Sindhi Hindus, that tomorrow this will happen to your daughter. Why I am saying this? Because if we are criticizing the state policies, the what about the Sindhi nationalist? I'm sorry to say. We have to observe, we have to criticize those political parties. I am going to share with you one of political leaders, he was sharing with me stage on the force conversion and he said, Asan Sindhin Chokran ki shabdi kan do dago shokar. Now, tell me. This is not a pingli, this is not a pp, this is not a mia mitu, this is not a p sarangi, this is not a jamia biloria. He was a Sindhi nationalist leader who was laughing. And I just grabbed the camera mic and I said, sorry, you're wrong. So we need to change our attitude and behaviors regarding this. Otherwise you cannot unite on this issue. To make a shot, I don't want to go in detail because Adha Quran is looking at me. I yeah. With you. yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I understand. So, let me to criticize, openly criticize the human rights organizations. The human rights organizations are responsible too. They are the same page on with the state, with the People's Party. Can you ask these organizations, have they ever collected? data on the force conversion? No, I'm, 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 I'm not, I'm, I, I'm, I'm talking about the Pakistani organizations. So there was a, a one uh, press conference in Karachi press club and I was attending and human rights uh, activist, he was present and he said that the, Hindu girls cannot go because the Hindu families can kill them. And I was surprised and I asked him, can you give me one reference, sir? The way any Hindu family, they kill their daughter in the name of honor killing? He failed to give me an, any example. But then I met, uh, when I met uh, Peer Sarandi, who is involved in forced conversion, he repeated the same line. What the two years ago, the human rights activist, he was saying 
at the Karachi Press Club. And after two years, the peace uh, leaving, I met him at the Amar court. He told I said, okay, can you show me in Amar court how many girls have been killed? Just give me the data on the Amar court. He said, no, madam, please don't ask me this question. Now imagine this is in front of you. Let the human rights organization and Peer Sarandi, they think alike. And you imagine, and I imagine, and we expect that they will do the justice to us. So to say no, they can't. Well, uh, this is all. I don't want, uh, if you have any questions, please ask me. But in forced conversion, unfortunate. Let me to summarize with two quotations, Dr. Mubarak Ali. Dr. Mubarak Lee said that when Pakistan was made, when Pakistan was made, when Urdu was made, they said that we will make the Muslims Muslims, real Muslims. We will make them as few Muslims. Well, I don't know whether they were uh, the Muslims in the world or not, but they had the mission that came. आना टाइम उस हिंदुओं के मुस्लिम करने का भी कोशिश करने पे आ तो ही आ दिस इस द पॉलिसी ऑफ स्टेट एंड इन दिस क्राइम इन दिस सीरियस क्राइम एवरीवन एवरी इंस्टिट्यूट एवरी की इंस्टिट्यूट इन्वॉल्व इन इट ह्यूमन राइट्स पॉलिटिकल पार्टीज पॉलिटिशियंस वेदर दे आर द पार्लियामेंटेरियन वेदर आर द नेश even including the activist, media isn't involved, except the Sindhi media, because we raise the issues. And more these. So we need to raise this issue. And please, I would say, those who are here and abroad, please keep raising your voice. We are in Pakistan, we do our job. So this is your responsibility. If you want to protect your daughters, then raise the voice for Sindhi Hindus. Thank you. Thank you, Rita.